Welcome to SharePoint 2013 More Apps. The apps we're discussing today are the Picture Library, Contacts, Issue Tracking, Promoted Links, Mailbox, and the three types of Corporate News app. Remember, you simply click Add an App under your site contents. And if you see the ellipsis, you have the option to remove it. I'm Trainer Laurie. The Picture Library. Simply click the Picture Library icon and name the new picture library because like all of these apps you can add it multiple times so give it a unique name then click create and you have a new library when you click new picture or drag files here you can drag right from Windows Explorer it will upload your photos and in a few minutes it, it doesn't take very long then all your pictures will appear and you can see it has a hover over with their names or the name of the file underneath. Contacts, click Contacts and give it a name. Click Create and it's automatically a list that has all of these fields in it. Click New Item and you can see the fields. Last name, first name, full name, etc. And if you scroll down farther you will see these as well. So you just enter your uh, contacts and then click Save. If you want to add more columns, it's an easy thing to do just by clicking Create Column. So you can add additional columns. For example, if you wanted to say um, this is a hot lead or uh, this is a pet owner, you know, whatever is important to you and your business. Issue Tracker. Remember, whenever you create a new app, it will say New. So it's easy to find. Just click it. Once you've created it, click New Item. And you can see it, it looks very much like Tasks. Must give it a title. And then if you use Assign To, like Tasks, it will send it to Outlook and up, be updated there. Here you also have the option to choose if it's active, resolved, or closed. And the priority, high, normal, or low, you would have to determine what those mean. And then the category, category 1, 2, or 3, again, you would have to determine what that means. And then you also have the option to uh, choose related issues and uh, a due date. And then click Save. Promoted links. When you add a promoted link after you give it a name and hit create, uh, then you click new item and it gives uh, asks for a title. The background image, if you're going to use an image, and, uh, and that's the whole point of a promoted link is that it's an image with a link on top of it so people have a tendency to look at that image. But uh, keep in mind that the value of the background image location may not contain more than 255 characters. So if it's a website um, you might want to make sure it's on your SharePoint site, not somewhere else. Put in a description, uh, have the link location, the link description, and then the launch behavior. You can choose if you want it to be in-page navigation. In other words, it opens up within that same page. Uh, in other words, it, it uh, changes the page. Or if it opens up a new dialog box or an entirely new tab. And your promoted links will have a photo and then the uh, title over that and then when you click it it will take you to a, l a link. So it's, it's something that will draw people's attention. The mailbox, the site mailbox, uh, when you uh, hit create it says it's been created but it takes a while. So it, in fact it warns you that it could take up to 30 minutes. So it gives you the option to go back to the SharePoint site while you're waiting for it to um, do all its magic. And then when you go back to it again, it'll ask you which your preferred language is and the time zone, then submit query. And then when you open it, there's your, your mailbox. And the mailbox, the name that you gave it becomes the email address. So make sure that you name it appropriately based on what you want the email address to be. And uh, you would probably want to forward useful emails to the site to save it for reference. That's the purpose of this, not to be a main mailbox, but to be a location for storage for mail that uh, you don't want to have to administer in your, in your Outlook. You can also CC team emails to the site to save for reference. So just make sure that you have the uh, email address and then you could just uh, put it, in fact you could even put it in a distribution list. So um, you won't, wouldn't have to remember to do that. So it's a good way to save emails without it having to clog up a person's email uh, inbox. The Corporate News app is very complex, so it actually has three portions to it. So let's go over the Corporate News app. It's very cool, but it also takes up a lot of memory and can slow down your SharePoint page. So when you add it, it will say we're we're adding your app. Again, it, it takes time, so uh, just wait until it's ready. And then when you click it, it will ask, do you cr trust it? And so you want to trust it. 
and then you're going to get this. Do you want to view only the pa web page content that was delivered securely? You'll want to say um, no on this so that you can actually see it. So your users will get that message. The Corporate News app has three types of app parts. The first one is called the Carousel News, and uh, so it has several icons to help manage uh, all the, the uh, parts that you would need in the Carousel app. So the first one is Manage Carousel News. When you click that, you'll see there's all kinds of news already in there, and it's sample news so that you can see what it would look like. You can replace, and you should replace, uh, all these samples with your own news, but you can see the kinds of information that should go in there. And then the second part of the car uh, Carousel News app is Manage Carousel Picks. And so again, you'll have a lot of pictures already in there, but you'll want to replace them with your own pictures. So it's a lot to administer to have the Corporate News app. In addition, under the same site, you'll see Horizontal News and Micro News. And I'll show you what each of those look like. When you go to put the Corporate News app on your page, you'll have the three options. So you choose which one. You would not want all three of them on the page. This is what the Carousel News app part looks like. It has um, picture on the left, and it has the headlines on the right. And on a regular basis, it will go through and scroll through the different pictures and the different headlines. The Horizontal News app part, it has smaller uh, thumbnail pictures, and it will automatically move, or someone can click the arrows and move the um, horizontal news. And then the micro news takes a lot less space, and it does have headlines and this highlighted um, word that says latest news. So it, it will scroll through which the headlines are. That's all for this time. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.